All sticks that have a clear finish are processed in a tumbler. This is like towards the, towards the end of the process, the sticks need to have a finishing material put on them. So the tumbler is this hexagonal cylinder and it's kind of like a barrel and you put the sticks in there. Solid door is bolted on and then the sticks are tumbled, I guess. So they're kind of rotating like this and through the rotation uh, in the tumbler, this, um, this finishing material covers the stick. The objective is to produce a finish that has consistent properties and the prescribed feel in the hand. We want enough finish to uniformly coat the stick, but not so much that the texture of the wood grain is completely buried. The exact formulation of the finish has been developed to produce the desired feel and durability. This lacquering process makes the stick as nice and, and smooth and, and playable. Another feature that's unique to the Vic Firth production is to be able to dip the sticks in paint so that you can have a colored finish, something that, well, I guess the look of it is as important in a lot of cases for many people as the feel and, and how it plays and, and all that. So there is no stone that's unturned. And when we color the sticks, we don't use tumble finish. Um, the reason being is that, you know, the tips if they were a uh, tumble finish, then it would mark up and leave color uh, all over your symbols and your heads. Uh, so we don't do that here at Vic for, uh, for that specific reason. I think Vic was the first one to come up with that. And the system that they use for this is really cool. It was really neat to see that, you know, they're concerned about that. You know, you want to get the color, you want to get the stick right, but, you know, let's not you know, mess with the beat. The fixtures are loaded into a machine which lowers the sticks into a tank until the surface of the finish just reaches the back of the tip. The machine then withdraws the sticks at a controlled rate, leaving a uniform coat of finish on the sticks. The bead of the stick is put into these fixtures and I think there's about 25 of them look like. But the whole stick gets dipped into the collar and slowly gets pulled out, which I'm I'm sure that's the reason that accounts for a perfectly situated collar that uh, has the same thickness all the way around because it's, a, it's gravity of the earth that pulls the collar down and, and that is indifferent to any you know, margins of error. And once they are dipped in the paint, they are left for hours in the drying room. When we engage a new artist, or he joins the Vic Firth family, it's more than just becoming part of the team. It's becoming part of a way of life in music. What really makes Vic Firth uh, a great place to be in a big family is like, you know, they treat you like a family and not as an artist only. Um, all these years, not a single complaint, those guys are the best. We sympathize and understand each other's problems and we proceed in such a way that we make life easier and more successful from both sides of the family. It's like a big family, you know, like uh, anything I want, they always hear what I say and it just help me out so much, you know. I never expected, you know, from uh, a big company like Big Fur.